Assalamu alaikum. May peace be on all of you. I would like to thank the Times Now channel, the Republic TV, the NDTV, the ABP News, and various other news channels and newspapers for publishing a false news against me two days before on the 4th of July 2018 most of the Indian newspapers and channels they published and they broadcasted that Dr. Zakir Naik has been arrested in Malaysia and he is going to be deported tonight that is on the night of the 4th of July 2016 and now it has been proved without any doubt that it was a fake news and to give authenticity to this fake news Times now went to the extent of saying that the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi his main purpose of visiting Malaysia was to deport Dr. Zakir Naik. NDTV even gave the name of the police officer who told them that Dr. Zakir Naik is going to be deported and later on they removed the name. Both these channels they were competing with each other that they were the first to break the news and all the other news channels they kept on joining. ABP went to the extent of saying that in the next six to seven hours Dr. Zakir Naik will be in India. This is how they sensationalize the issue and they make the reader and the viewer believe that it is a fact. And Today it has been proved that it was totally baseless and false and this is the same thing the Indian media has been doing against me for the last two years. 4th of July 2018 when they gave this fake news, it was exactly two years since they, since they started hounding me. They have been hounding me since the last two years, since 4th of July 2016. And many of you may be aware that on the 1st of July 2016, there was a terrorist attack in Dhaka, where more than 20 people were killed. And one newspaper in Dhaka by the name of Daily Star, on the 3rd of July 2016, it printed an article saying that one of the terrorists has been inspired by Dr. Zakir Naik. Exactly the next day, almost all the major news channels and newspaper, they started speaking against me. And the original paper, Daily Star, a few days later, it retracted the information, but the Indian news media kept on hounding me for the last two years. And why they have been doing this, I don't know. I can think of two reasons. One can be for TRP. When they speak against a famous personality, they get more viewers, they get more eyeballs. The second can be for financial benefit maybe for money and you may be aware that Cobra Post it had done a sting operation on more than 35 news media and news channels and they proved it their hidden cameras and they spoke to them we will give you few lakh rupees we will give you few crore rupees they went to the extent of saying we will give you 500 crore rupees and these news channels and newspaper were ready to publish anything as long as they get money so why is the Indian media after me, whether for TRP, whether for money, whether for both, I am not aware. But since the latest fake news has been exposed without doubt, no one can say it is true. Everyone, all the sources have denied it. Inshallah, very soon, most of the articles that they published about me in the last two years, they were fake. It was out of context and they maligned me. Very soon, this will also be proved that it had no basis and it was false. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 6, whenever you get information, you check it up before you pass it on to the third person. Therefore, I request all the viewers, all the readers, anytime when you get information, when you read any news, check it up before you pass it on to the next person or before you get convinced it's a fact. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, Chapter number 17, verse number 81. Allah says, When truth is heard again, falsehood, falsehood perishes. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. And inshallah, very soon, all the false news they are publishing against me, inshallah, it will be proved to be wrong and truth will prevail.